Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Frugal House Flipper Edition Episode 2. Now, I want to start off uh, this episode with an apology to you um, simply because we, in Episode 1 we promised that we would show you everything and not do anything uh, without you. But unfortunately, when we attempted to film Episode 2 a couple days ago, um, some technical issues occur and, and you probably don't really care what they are so I won't go into it. But the bottom line is we did do some play which wasn't captured for your viewing pleasure. So uh, we're a little bit ahead of where we were, but we'll go ahead and, and get back to where we were and, and catch you up when we get there. But I uh, did want to let you know that there is a, a small gap between where we were and where we are. So the first one we're going to do is let's go ahead and go into the office. And you can see we've made some slight changes to the office we did finish the painting um in fact let's move this chair back we had to move that so we could get to that wall wouldn't let us add it so we had to do that so open the bathroom and you can see it still has that nasty tiling everywhere we tried to get rid of it unfortunately um, we haven't done any tiling jobs yet so it wouldn't it would let us buy the tile but won't let us actually do the tiling so we'll have to like the door, uh, wait on that until the appropriate skill, but then we'll go ahead and redo that, get rid of that nasty tiling. We've got meantime we've got a shower, toilet, sink, mirror, and a towel radiator in here. So other it's otherwise looking really good and very pleased with that. And let's go ahead and close that back up because that's just an eyesore. Now we did have um, another job that we took. Uh, it was an elderly gentleman who had some students leave the place a mess. We cleaned that up, replaced some radiators, whatnot. There was cockroaches and dirt everywhere. Uh, long story short, we earned a few bucks. That job is done. Now we've picked up a job to go put in an additional bathroom. And uh, we'll take a quick walk through the house and you can see what all we're going to be doing. It's not just a bathroom. There's also some painting that's going to be involved. Well, now it's going to open this drawer and you can see from the chores in this room, paint with the color sleepy blue. So we'll be painting that room. We will be doing nothing in the kitchen slash dining room. So we'll close that door. Goodbye. And open up here. We've got all right, so you can see behind me in the mini map, that wall is red, which means they want that wall gone. And they would also like this wall gone. And let's see what they want done in this room. In this room, nothing. So we'll go ahead and go out. It's just the way I like to do I'll close the doors knowing I don't have to go in there again. And here we want to paint sky blue. Okay, so we've got another paint job. In here, we have no tasks in the living room. And here, we okay, have no room, no tasks here either. So we'll go back out and close that door behind us. And here, Here's where the fun starts. Okay, as we mentioned, that wall is going to need to come out. And here's where they want us to put this bathroom in. So, obviously, you can see there's going to be a lot of fixtures to put in. they got to remove the shelves, lay ceramic tiles, lay floor tiles, mount the devices, which I'm sure are shower, toilet, sink. And we'll get to that here in a moment. And here... We want to paint, paint with the colors Alluring Lavender and Bright. I'm sorry, Alluring, yes, Alluring Lavender and Bright Lavender. All right, so as long as we're in here, let's go ahead and get that started. And so we'll go to, let's see what we got. All right, we'll just start with uh, Bright Lavender since that one's first on the list. And uh, as I've uh, mentioned elsewhere, <coughs> Um, with the painting, when it says, you know, use those, whoops, <laughs> that's not going to work real well. Let's try it. 
paint roller instead. Um, so you can do accent wall. Um, you can do you know, stripes. You can um, do whatever you like. As long as you end up using both colors, then it's going to be a matter of personal taste how you use them. But as far as the client is concerned, they're just going to make sure they want to make sure that you actually used the colors they requested. Um, so let's move a little closer here. So these window wells are always, always, always remember those. Because the second you forget them, they come back to bite you. I'm moving right along here. Alright, looks like we need more paint, which we can do. Oh, I was standing on the bed to do that, evidently. And... Alright. Uh, see there, okay. If we hadn't gone back over that coat, it would have come back and told us that we weren't quite finished with that wall so I, I like to scan over it a little bit every time I do some painting just to make sure we got the hundred percent don't always succeed but you try all right now it's just a matter of getting through this all right so we're, we're good got full coverage Again. Good thing we have that using 40% less painting part. I'm going to stretch this. I think what I'm going to do is just since I can do whatever I want, and this is not my home, I don't necessarily care about okay so it looks like we're not going to get access to that without moving all right and where can we move that to can we put it over here yeah we'll put it over there for now all right now that hopefully will get us access to the rest of that wall Well, now we're going to move that one too eventually, but for now, let's go ahead and get this one. Right, I'm just just double-checking to make sure we got full coverage. Okay. So, putting the paint roller down for a second. Let's put this cabinet back where she belongs. And, oh, no, we did not want to pick up the bunny. We want to pick up the whole cabinet. All right, over there. There you go. Oh, <laughs> so when you pick up the cabinet, the stuffed animals do not move with it. Important lesson. So we will set them on the client's bed here. If we can get this one from the front, hopefully we can make it fit. And oh, there we go. And we will finish up with bright lavender. I should refill the paint roller. All right. All right. So, we're done with Bright Lavender, sell it back. Don't need that. We do need to put this cabinet back. So we'll do that. And the toys is really an optional thing, but no point in upsetting the client unnecessarily. So we can 
figure out how to get them up, of course. Does not want to seem to want to place them back. Okay, well. And Senior Bunny Rabbit also does not want to go back, so I guess they are staying on the bed. Client's going to have to work with that. Um, all right, now we need to get the alluring lavender. Make sure we get our lavender straight here. Okay, bright and alluring were our two choices, correct? They were. So, <coughs> let's go ahead and get to painting. First of all, I'm just glad this job doesn't involve any window cleaning because after that last cleaning of the house, I could do a job or two without cleaning any more windows. All right. All right. We're going to make quite a lot of coverage out of that particular roll, so let's... not fully covering it. I mean, wonder it so far. All right. The thing is, we've only got this little bit left to do and no windows to paint around, so this particular part of the painting should go pretty quickly. just to get it out of our way. Let's go to the side of the room. Make sure we all the nooks and crevices. Game can be kind of finicky sometimes. Finicky, excuse me. So Please to be thorough first time out. Right, full coverage here. Looks like maybe only one or two more dips of the old roller brush. And we will be good to go. Alright. Let's see what tells us we're 93% of the way done. So we're getting to the end of this room at least. Oh joy. Okay. So we are now 100% complete with this particular room. Let's sell that paint for get nine of our bucks back because we are, after all, frugal gamers. And we don't want to waste the money unnecessarily. All right. So we need to get rid of these shelves. And the easiest way to do that is if they'll let us sell them. Same thing goes for this door which is on the wall that's going to come out. And this door. All right. So, let's get back down the hallway. Put our sales gun away. And let's see about getting some appliances in here. All right, radiator for once is installed. So, this is going to be where our sink is going to go. And let's buy that. Bathroom sink and it goes right there. All right. Oops, what am I doing there? That faster mounting thing really is making a heck of a difference. Sometimes it's misclicking. There we go. And there you go. All right, now we have to connect the piping. And connect the sleeve, and the sink is in. Now, I think, although I was going to place object mirror. 
Now, when it says something like place object mirror, they don't want a mirror. They want the object called mirror. So I made that mistake previously by saying, oh, they want a mirror. No, no, no. They want a particular mirror. And you see this one is just called mirror, whereas the other ones had their size and shape format to them. So I say you have vertical or horizontal. I think horizontal is going to work better. So let's go ahead and put it in. <coughs> All right. So that's taken care of. Now we have one toilet to mount. And let's go back. Toilet. One mander. Uh, mountable toilet standard size. Tell you what, before we do that, um, let's hit that shower. It's that one's up against the wall. Um, I'm gonna have less options with that than we might with say the toilet. All right, so let's go. So hold off a minute, toilet. We'll be back for you here in a minute. Mountable shower. You can see it's already plumbed. So let's put her in. How are we going to rotate this? Does it give us any option to rotate? It does not. So <coughs> let's assemble. Uh, putting the feet on the base. And putting down the base. Connecting the hose, drain, plug, cover. Oops. All right. Yeah. All right. So now let's put the base down. Screw into the wall. Faucets. Box, wall, wall, hinge, door, handle, screw, knob, and another hinge, and door. All right, cornering. Then we'll put a cap on. And our other hinges. Maybe one on the other side to put in. Oh, we gotta put the base. There we go. All right, the shower is in. So now that'll dictate the toilet we can or can't put in. And let's find out. To the toilet. One mountable toilet standard. Fits <laughs> nicely, so we don't have to do anything crazy. Like get a special size toilet or anything. Sometimes you'll run into that. There it is. Wow. That was an easy install of a toilet. Okay, so we've done all but the tiling. So let's go ahead and say ceramic tiles gray for the floor. I'll show you the whole tiling process, but I'm very excited about this because it means we're going to be able to do the tile in our bathroom when we get back. All right. And I said the ceramic tiles gray, if I'm not mistaken. Tell you what, let me go back and just double check. Ceramic tiles gray, yes. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's buy a couple stacks. All right. We can go back and get some more when we're done. But all right. For the meantime, now we have our spackle knife. So we have tiling and we have to pick it up. Oh, I see. This is my mistake. So for the floor, uh -huh. so unlike the walls, which is what I've done before, 
we want to simply lay out the dimensions for this. So this is going to be even easier than doing the walls. And there you go. There you have it. Was the tiling good for you? It was certainly good for me. All right. So now it says we are serious ceramic tiles gray. I think I sent the wrong tiles. Ceramic tiles gray squares. Ceramic tiles gray. Oh, look at that. See? Important lesson. All right. So he's wasted about 70 bucks, which is, while not earth shattering. There we go. They are picky. They are picky. Ceramic tiles gray. Let's see if we can, yeah, no, it's not going to let us do that. All right, so now let's go to the wall tile. And da -da -da, yes, walls, wall tiles. And we want ceramic tiles gray. So, and again, they want... Um, Not what we wanted to do. It might have helped be helpful to have tiles here, which for some reason we do not. So let's go back. Let's try this again. We're going to buy many. Oh, it does not want to let us do that. That says four tiles. And let's go back here for walls. We want ceramic wall tiles gray and ceramic tiles gray. All right. So let's try and see what these what their options are. White walls, gray and cyan, cream brown, black and white, light blue. Tiles gray square, gray square, tiles gray. And I think this is, they want some of this. And then we'll iron this go. <coughs> We're going to thin these two stacks of that. <coughs> and let's go ahead and get some tiled up and make sure that we're giving this credit for doing that. All right. Yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna need some perks in terms of speeding this process up. I can see that right now. But this puts you to sleep at that speed. All right, we gotta pick up a pile of tiles. You know, one at a time. But the bright side is, as time-consuming and laborious as it seems here in the game, it still is not anywhere near as realistically time-consuming and laborious it is to do in real life. So, once again, I appreciate the designer's compromise of some realism but also in interest of not trying to kill the player in terms of their gameplay timing. All right, and we're making progress here. Let's see, I think, I think we might have to move around a little bit there. There we go. There we go. We're trying to open it. There we go. Sometimes it can be tricky to find just the right angle to 
for instance, here. Put in to go inside. And now I have an angle. I think they definitely did that just to annoy us because that is like slow mo. All right, here we go. And again, have to move to get our angle. All right, let's close that door back up. There we go. So. That I just discovered was hitting F is gives us a flashlight. Okay. We did not particularly need a flashlight right there, but it was nice to know that one was available. And almost done. We're gonna move to the other These two walls done. All right. Everything's coming together nicely. Of course, that is the big kahuna of this particular house project. Getting that bathroom done, as you can see. We are 44% of the way through. Let's sell those back because we don't need them. And ceramic tiles gray here. And let's go again. We want two stacks. I don't know why we pull out a paintbrush there, but. A little trigger happy on the <coughs> controls. All right. Now, all right. We seem happy with our choice, with our percentage of job completion. We just went up. Oh, new skill point. You know, we're diving right for this one. Tyler, 20% faster. You know it. So let's go back and watch what kind of difference this might make for us. It won't be earth shattering, but you'll notice. Like I said, it's not earth shattering, but we'll take every little bit we can get, especially because that just puts us on our way to having that speed tiling, which is really, I mean, really isn't that what we all dream of? Being able to speed tile our own flip. All right. Moving right along. All right. I have to question the design choice personally of having the same tile on the wall that you have on the ceiling, but, yeah. Client's house. Client can do whatever crazy thing it want they want to. Although I'm sure some of you are out there going, well, the client knows what he's talking about. Maybe it's you. And you're right, it may be me. But it's not a design choice, I would think. All right, here. My goodness. Whether you're tiling or painting, windows are always a pain. All right. All right. All right, we're almost done coming down to the final wall here. If 
finally be near that first stack to be done. I'll probably have to buy a third stack before this is all done, since it took more than a full stack to do that little space. So, we'll find out here in a minute, but if I was a betting man, that's the way I'd go. Just saying. All right, so that wall appears to be done. We are now 74% of the way complete with the project. It looks like every piece is getting us another 2% closer. So, if my math is correct, and it sometimes is, at 80%, so I have 10, 9, do eight. All right. <coughs> All right. And that's the last of the tile we had already purchased. Sorry about bumping the mic there. I'm sure, it felt wonderful in the ears. All right, let's pick up one last pack of tiles so we can <coughs> finish this job up and move, get this painting done, move on to the next job. All right. There we go. Put the tile on the wall, yes, thank you. Here. All right, one more, and that should complete this room. All right. Boom, done. All right. So that room is now complete. There are no tasks left to do in this room, as you can see. Go back to my hand. All right, now here we've got walls to modify, which means demolish. So let's get on doing that. We don't want to disappoint these good folks. You want a wall gone, you got a wall gone. want to come down. So we'll work on that one. Maybe that's what I was just too far away. And yep, that's exactly what it was. One piece left, and that would be this particular piece, evidently. progress and we got that right to the ceiling all right so seven 14 walls are modified and that leaves this boy right here so or not. I think I've got a couple more 
bigger, stronger hammer type to do. Alright. 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 And the pieces are down, the tasks in this room are done. So we have closed door, closed door, closed door. Closed door, closed door. So we have one room left to go here. And that is to paint. Oh, and I know there's a, the, the sky blue room to paint as well. So um, we may have been a little premature there. All right. Sleepy blue. And I'm going to say it's going to take at least two. That's enough of that. All right. Now the fun begins. And paint, paint, paint. down. Three to go. And then get this other window wall out of the way. Just because there's so much fun to do. Finishing this wall up. All right, you can see so far I'm at sixty nine percent. No windows to deal with here. So straightforward painting. All right. Oh, the paint roller went away. Didn't it? Okay. dips. We should be done with this room. We are at 88% now. Moving in quickly. Alright. 
Right? Math dip. That's a good one. Alright, boys. Uh -huh. And there we have 100%. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this sold. $4.77, 1206 left. Okay. Oh, we did not close that door. Excuse me. And we almost forgot about this open bedroom back here. Which they want sky blue. So let's get sky blue. And then that should finish the job for the client. And we can get paid. Sky blue. And again, let's get two, two cans. <coughs> we go did I not get sky blue uh oh that's no good well it is sky blue so I'm confused paint with the color sky blue Just didn't want to start the counter kicking, I guess, on just one stroke. So. Nope. Well. Too. Let's see if we can get past here if we can. All right, and see if we can reach into that corner over here. We can reach it there. Oh, we got it. Okay. Um, over here. Some of the more difficult angles. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Moving right along. Can't forget that wall. This wall to feel like we're we've abandoned it. So we get right on. Oh, take some more paint. Just want want me to let me. There, I've got my paint cans in the way, so paint cans out of the way. You, you, also. <coughs> All right. Now we can paint a wall. All right. Pink cans, we can move a little more freely around the room. Alright. Alright. So 
I think. This one's just so easy. here we're going to be able to get back there so bench stay over there all right and paintbrush where were we getting more paint that's what we were doing have to move this whole bed. I think we might. So I'm going to bring it forward a little bit, but it does not want to let me do that. So put him back there. Places fit. All right. Well, let's see if we can't find another way to do this. Then it really doesn't want me moving that. Here we go. So he's gonna stand on the bed and do it. I hope you don't mind, kiddo. A little more paint, we'll get this wrapped up. We're pretty close now. We're coming into home stretch. Painted, so I'm missing something. Usually, that's window sills. Let's find out. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to any of them out. Make sure this indeed has paint running on it. There we go. Just need we were one stroke short. Alright. So let's go ahead and put the paintbrush away. Put the table back where we found it. Put the bench back where we found it. Get rid of these paint cans. All right, all tasks completed. Showing 100%. So the only thing left to do now, get off his bed, is to go back to the office, complete the order, 
$8,400 in profit. That is not too shabby. So let's check our bank account here. There we go. And, oh, we have, look, we have two perk points. Cleaning. So we want a good mop, 25% faster cleaning. Mm. Let's see, how about this? We'll still, we still have to long range and we'll work our way over. All right, instant painting, 25% faster painting. Yes, please. And now, let's look at this. All right, we've got $54,278. Now, um, go back in the office here for a second. You can see by looking at our browser, all it takes is 31, 30 some odd thousand, depending on where you are, to get started. So I think that next time would be an excellent time to pick up with buying our first flip and going through that process, see how it works. So I promised yesterday when uh, we did episode one that I would try not to keep you as long this time. So I'm going to try to keep that promise and wrap up episode two thank you for joining us as always and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and until next time for episode three enjoy <laughs>